Hello and welcome to Radiant Station. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create the space that you see in the background. It's very easy and you will be amazed how simple it is to create one of these. So let's get on with it. Now straight into Blender. Let's go to Shading and let's select from here, not the object, the world where we will be adding in a couple of uh, settings here, nodes. First, let's bring in the texture coordinate, followed by the mapping. Let's bring it here. Next, we need the noise texture. And last but not the least, We'll be bringing in the, the color ramp. Let's connect the object to vector, vector to vector, factor to factor, color to color. Straight away, let's render this so that we can see what changes we've made. You can see it's, let's bring up the scale to 250. You can see a lot of spots now from here we are going to drag this and until we find what we are looking for something of this sort if we want a lot of stars or planets of course that's full black it's all to your liking how much you want to go for and once you rotate your camera let's go into the layout let's go into render view and that's how your world will look of course you'd have to get some spaceships inside so you can render your scene let's remove the floors and let's get rid of the axes that's how it's going to be as simple as that now let's use the two uh, add-ons which we have with, with the shape generator let's make a simple spaceship of course, you can follow along with uh, my previous tutorials, which is how simple it is to create one of these spaceships and add plating and gravels to it. Let's go and add in a random seed number, let's say 1050 or 1080. That does not look like a spaceship. Let's add in some extrusions and see if we can. Let's the extrusions mm, of course we will be pulling it in one of the axes so it's gonna automatically look like a spaceship but let's see if we can get along with something similar to this let's see if I can rotate this a little bit okay and now I will be stretching it in the Y axis so I can see it better of course you only have one light source you need to have those light source well placed so that you can actually make your spaceships visible or the parts that you want to make them visible now let me stretch this in the X axis L something of this sort let me go into the edit mode after this and uh, once we add in our plating Let's go and select and subdivide. I don't need to do that again, I believe. That's enough for now. Now let me just select this object and with the F3 key, plating, let's generate plates and gribbles. And voila. It looks like a spaceship. Kind of. <laughs> of course, we will not be texturing this. For now, I'm just using this as an as a reference only. Let's go in with the random seed, see what design that we will be going for. Of course, I'm keeping it very simple and straightforward. Let's go into the greebles. Let's increase the number as well, because 25 is too less for my liking, and that is a little too much. Let's reduce that. 
let's work around with this one let's see random seeds what we can i think this is good enough yes we'll go with this so this is just a rough a design or a rough idea but that's how simple it is to create spaceships using the add-ons by mark kings north of course the link is in the description kindly use that if you have not purchased this add-on there are two of those and don't forget to use the radiant station at the checkout it's going to give you immediate 20 percent off of course it's for limited time only and that's going to be valid until march so let's pump up the value of the light source that's too much let's reduce it to something of this sort of course we will not be animating i'm just showing you how we can place lights as well as use the add-on to create spaceships and the background is our main focus so thank you for watching stay tuned toodles